Spanish your thoughts on six nine. He was putting on for the Spanish. <laughs> He was. Um, he still is. Yeah, he still is. Would you work with him? He still is. If my fans want it, I fuck with you. <laughs> I fuck with that. If answer. your fans want it, you I fuck, fuck with that, that answer. So you ain't too street to where it's like you know what he was snitching. Fuck all of that. I mean, yeah, but at the end of that, it's fucking my money up. Let's get to that. Let's get to that. <laughs> What's good, y'all? Pro culture, eighty men with a pros is that so. The Mexican OT went on back on Fig and they asked him about, as a Spanish artist, they asked him how he feel about 6 ix 9 Would they do a song with 6 ix 9 And he said, yeah, he would do a song with 6 ix 9 with no question, no hesitation, because Spanish people don't care that he told. Majority of Spanish people don't care that he told. There's probably still some that follow, you know what I'm saying, her rules or whatever. But majority don't care that he told. Why? Two reasons. Spanish people stick together. And two, that he told on a black gang, an African-American, predominantly African-American gang. So they don't care. If a bag is involved, they're going to do it. Now, if 6 9 had told on, you know, the Latin Kings or Trinitarios or something like that, that would be different. But the fact that he told on somebody outside of their, you know, culture, it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know, a lot of Spanish races are racist. So, not saying Mexican OT is racist. I'm just saying, like, as long as you ain't telling on your own people, you good. We could get this back together. That's how they look at it. And that's what the unity that they always have. You know? That's what unity. That's the unity that a lot of these cultures have, and they get a lot of things done. You know what I'm saying? We the only ones standing on principles that's not even real. Honor amongst thieves. How is there honor amongst thieves? That don't even make no sense, and can't come together to get nothing done really, and worrying about who's snitching, who's this, who's that, instead of getting the bag. I ain't mad at Kodak for doing a song with 6 9 dissing him and getting the bag. Because all that street shit is fake. It's fake. It's imaginary. It's rules people created in the 80s. Just like there's rules, you know, Caucasians created about marriage and you can't have more than one wife. Those are their rules that they created a long time ago. You have to be with one person. These are man-made rules that people are following. And it's stopping our people as a whole of growth and you know if you get two three million dollars to do a one song with somebody that 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 told on a gang doing illegal stuff how how is that a bad thing you know what i'm saying because you're not going to be here forever your kids is going to be here and to be honest jay-z once said the the label end of a snitch is a lifetime scar you always be in jail minus the bars your kids is going to benefit from that money. They're probably not going to even be around a certain type of group that's going to be like, oh, your dad did a song with a snitch. They're probably going to be in private school. They're probably going to be working for themselves, doing something else, because you did a song with a so-called snitch, well, a snitch and got the bag. But let me know what y'all think in the comments. Man. Like, subscribe, share this.